How much clarity should we expect to have on what a season may look like by this time on Friday? It could be a big nothing burger. To be quite honest, they could say, hey. With this last year and the pandemic, I learned uh, not to take the little things for granted. Not that I did before, but it's like I learned that even the f more finer details of things uh, in life or in football and anything that you put your mind to, um, if you don't appreciate every aspect of it leading up to that big level that you're going for, it can really get away from you really fast. So I was able to, you know, just kind of sit back and and reevaluate everything that I was that I was going through and find, you know, a way to make me happy again because, you know, going from just football to online school, you know, it's, it's just foot stadium and home the, this past year. So I'm just grateful that I was able to kind of come out on top. I think I have the greatest support network that I could have ever asked for, my family, my friends. And then I come here to this university and, and you know, I got this brotherhood that has never failed to, you know, make me feel at home. So I never felt alone in my trials and tribulations because I had so many people backing me and um, I'm surrounded by good people. So with them, it's, uh, it's hard to have a negative mindset most of the time. I think we've always had a crazy strong brotherhood here. Um, since the day I walked in the room or in the, to the locker room for the first time, I could feel it. But I think there's a different level that we've achieved through this pandemic because it's truly just us. At that same point, it's a team effort. You know, I could be the, the most clean person, you know, living that like clean lifestyle in terms of CDC regulations. And, and I mean, if everyone else isn't doing that, then it's all for naught. Or if a couple guys don't do it, then it's all for naught. So for us to have the opportunity to play was, was amazing. But what was more amazing was how we came together as a collective to stay healthy for the games that we were able to play. We were definitely more bonded because of it. Um, because it kind of really implemented that us against the world notion. Pocket collapses and they get home with three. It's ETF again. What a start to the season for two more for two. Yes, sir. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. You say, is it a long time coming? I mean, for sure, it's felt that way. It took me three years, you know? It's a long time to, you know, go without, you know, the way that you used to play football. But I always had that faith in me and I knew I just needed the opportunity. And you know, the, the opportunity was Oregon State. That was my first start. And I was able to embrace it. But the other side of it is my first start, you know, I got the jitters and I'm thinking like, just do your job. And then, you know, eventually I'm doing my job and then I'm like, okay, I can play my game again. I'm starting to feel at home, make a play here, make a play there. And I'm just like, I belong here. I can do this, you know? And was, so that, just instilled the confidence in my game that I, I hadn't had for a while and, and kind of took off from there. He gets strip sacks and the Huskies have the football. Oh, Jimmy up, fumbles again. Zion knocks the ball out. You mentioned ZTM. This is the outstanding effort that the coaching staff for Washington kept talking about. The guys playing with I so know, much confidence. I know that, oh, how epic would this past season have been with 70,000, man. I mean, we had the blowouts, the, the tight games, the comebacks. I'm just, I wish, I, I wish that Husky Nation was there. I really miss them. But I think you gotta give a lot of credit to Coach Lake because there was still a feel like that, that we had their support. Um, there was juice on our sidelines. And, I, 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 I don't know how to put it into words. I could, I could feel Husky Nation behind us while we were playing. As far as my energy on the field, this is three years of pent up energy that I'm finally getting to unleash and show. Um, I'm just having fun. But once I'm in the moment, I'm just, there's not a thought in my head. I'm just football and having fun. And then you turn around after making a play, you got all your dudes coming to dap you up and, and tell you good job. I mean, it's it's an addictive feeling. I don't, I don't know how you could how you could go through that and not want it want to experience it more. So I'm thankful that I had my fair share of plays and I could feel the camaraderie of uh, of our team. And uh, I I love it here. It's crazy.
Looking to throw to begin the second half and more the same. Two ball and for two with another set. Pulling out to the right, chased by two balls, but two fumbles, the football's loose, and Jackson Sermon jumps on it. Big hit, ball darned loose, picked up by Zion, two balls for Dewey. Went to yard line, sacked again by guess who? Zion, two ball for Dewey, is a monster. His third <laughs> sack of the ball game forces the Utes to punt it away to Washington. Probably to get Pac-12 Player of the Week again. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. C.T.O. <laughs> We have really good pieces. I believe that uh, we have one of the best outside linebacker rooms in, in the nation with the guys that I have. Um, our DB room has always been top notch. You know, Eddie holding down the inside linebackers. And you got, you know, our concept with, with, with the coaching change, we're still gonna keep our defense. And I'm just thinking like, for me, what helped my game was the fact that I've been in this steadfast defensive scheme. So. For, for that to continue, I believe everybody's going to be able to take just crazy steps. Like, we're, we're not focused on, on learning the plays now, we're focused on execution. So, I, I believe that this defense has great potential. It's just up to us to show. We, we have the utmost faith in ourselves. I'm not only excited about our defense, I'm excited about our whole team, our offense too. I mean, that we have the opportunity to play a spring ball this year. Our offense had to learn on the fly basically they never got any type of field work before they're like oh by the way we're about to start a season in a month you know so for their productivity to have have been that way probably the best offense that i've seen since i've been here i can only imagine with the full off season what they are going to be able to to achieve there it's definitely a prove it year and i think that we're coming in with our heads screwed on tight and we're ready to put in the work we're going to keep putting in the work we're going to Keep, you know, being dogs and we're, we're going to show you the result on the field. We're not going to do any type of talking. We're going we're gonna to let our pads do the talking. That's what I always live by, so I'm just amped, man. I wish the season started next week.